Hello, hello, amazing humans. We're continuing on our ClickUp journey. And today I'm going to be walking you through the mobile app because it's one of the most important things when choosing a task management software that it has a good functional mobile app. There are some that are wonderful and there are some that are not. And I feel like ClickUp does a really good job of being able to find things, put things in there simply, and all of those fun things. So without further ado, here, we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, so you're going to go ahead and obviously go to the App Store and download ClickUp, but this is what it looks like right here. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. Now, this is going to be your home. This shows your work. This is the default thing that pops up every single time, okay? And so you can then essentially down here at the bottom, as you can see down here, we've got home. This is where your notifications show up. That's your inbox. That's why it's very important when you're setting your notifications that this is your notifications, your inbox, okay? You have your search bar. You can literally search for whatever. And there's also all of your more recent things that you have put in there as well, okay? And then we also have the more button. This one is that little, um, in some of my other videos, like at the bottom right-hand corner down here, um, on the desktop version, there's like, you can add a quick task reminder, these things, that's what this is. So you have your basics all down here and it is game changer. So here we have where you can create that new task, just like you can on the desktop. Okay. I mean, you go back in here, you can even go as far as adding files, um, subtasks, everything here, just like any other thing. Okay. Then we have, look, we can even load notifications, right? So here is a notification that would show up here and you can easily click on it. You can see everything, right? You can then um, dismiss it if you choose to, okay? So up here is also where you can see all sorts of things. So you have your home, which is where we are, right? Or where we were. Then you have our notifications. This is where we were. Then we have favorites. These are all of my favorites, the things I have pinned, easy access. Uh, these are all of my spaces. I have lots of spaces. I have a, I have a system behind how I have my spaces, but that's more advanced. So we're not going to go into that. These are all dashboards here. Okay. People have dashboards, you can favorite dashboards. Okay. And then here's also your docs that you can also share. Like there's a bunch of docs that I have in here as well. Okay. So this is your, this is how you navigate everything, okay? So when we navigate things like this, like the mobile app has to be robust, okay? Plain and simple, because if it's not, then you're not gonna be able to have access to your stuff as easily on the go, right? And I, if you are a person, if you're human in this world, you're on the go a lot. Even if you're an extreme introvert, uh, but you guys are entrepreneurs, which means even if you're an introvert, you're on the go. And so having this app to where you can access your stuff on the go, where you can add things quickly on the go is super, super powerful. Okay. So I just want to show you two more things. Okay. So when we add a task, you can put a task name in there. I always, I always name my task a demo when I'm demoing something. So I know to go back and delete it. <laughs> So then you would, um, the two words red outline, we would, you would choose the list. So like, where do you want to put it? Whenever I'm not sure where I want to put something, but it's on the go and I don't have a lot of time to think about it. I just always put it in my daily planner and put it in my action items always because, and then, then I assign it to myself. Right. And then I put it, I always just have it in to do, right. That's the default. I can add anything quick that I want here. I can add my date. Like I normally put like today or tomorrow. Um, and then if I have to attach something, I use this a lot when I take screenshots or pictures on my phone and I want to go back to something and see it, but I'm not going to freaking remember it unless I actually put it in my ClickUp. So then I could attach like a quick, a quick image. For example, uh, this is a picture of my cats. We're just going <laughs> to attach a picture of my cats here. And then we're going to press create. Now you need to know, like, how do we get back to it? Let's say like you created it. It's, it's in its thing. So then after you've created it, you go up here to your menu and you go to where you, where you put it, right? Spaces, daily planner, action items. Okay. And technically speaking, it, I have my action items. 
filtered. There's a filter on this, so it shows up by when they're due. And so that one I put as tomorrow, so we have demo. And that's how exactly how we get back to it. And we have all the stuff in there, including the attachments. So when you're inside of this task, you have comments, right? And then you also have the attachments. There is the picture of my wonderful kitties, okay? So so then we can go, always go back to home. And this is what tells you what is, I have to clean up my ClickUp for a few reasons. But if you want to see it in calendar view as well, there's a calendar view right there. So it literally tells you what's on today. If you have any times on it, it'll totally show it to you as well. Okay. So basically we have access to everything that the desktop version has, except for some like settings and things um, inside of the mobile app. And so when it's super easy and efficient to be able to use. So if you have any questions about the mobile app or you want to know exactly how to use different things, it's literally like the same idea once you understand where how to get to the menu to do everything. So let me know if you have any questions. Drop them below. If you haven't checked out the rest of the ClickUp tutorial series, go ahead and do that now. And if you're also looking at getting some support with your own ClickUp, I have an entire strategy behind really getting a foundation in place for your ClickUp, and then you can customize it from there. Um, and I totally have options available for you. You can take me up on my ClickUp program that I have in the works as well. Let me know if you have any questions. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.